Hey guys, what's good? This is Alex with Alex Jewelry Help, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing how to downgrade from iOS 6.1 <laughs> from iOS 7 to iOS 6.1.3. However, the fun part is that we'll be actually upgrading from iOS 7 to iOS 6.1.3. Yeah, guys, I know it does sound crazy. However, it is possible, and it's really, really fun. There are a few bugs, however, um, for some people it may work. So, uh, if you're not understanding me pretty much, instead of downgrading from iOS 7.1, um, in iTunes we'll be pressing the update key, um, check for update, instead of restoring the device. And I already did try this and my iPod Touch, uh, pretty much it has been downgraded from iOS 7.0 to iOS 6.1.3 with this method and updated to iOS 7 back. So, my iPod Touch is really, really tired, I guess you could say. However, it is uh, working perfectly fine. Uh, so guys, the first thing that you will have to do is you will have to download the, your d device's corresponding firmware. In my case, it's my Apple Touch 5th generation 6.1.3 uh, firmware right here. So just put, uh, download and put it in a location that you can't find it. And after that, just connect your device. You can see here I have connected via my dock my cable right there and so once your device is connected uh, the first thing that I would recommend is that you go ahead and click on uh, backup and do a uh, backup of your device and I already have done that so I'm just gonna cancel it and just wait for it to cancel and the next thing guys that you have to do as you can see right here I am on iOS 7 and as you can see right there I have some applications ins installed on my device and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cancel the backup and well, I'm going to hold Alt on Mac and I believe it's Command on Windows and check for update and it's going to open up this window so that we can browse for our firmware and as you, we're, as you can see here's my iOS 6.1.3 firmware, we're going to select that and as you can see it asks us if we're, um, if we're uh, ready to update from iOS 7 <laughs> to iOS 6.1.3 and we have to click on update and as you can see, it will begin extract the software. And the main purpose of doing this is if you're too lazy to restore and to just transfer the backup, um, this way you just restore, to, well, you downgrade from iOS 7 to iOS 6.1.3 and all your stuff are still on your iDevice and that way you do not have to waste time restoring from a backup and you will see in a second that it does work. As you can see, it's verifying the iPod update with Apple and right there my iPod are just... Um, I turned off I guess and so I am gonna be fast forwarding these guys so that I don't have to sit and wait through the whole process right there it does take some time actually And as you can see right there guys, it says your app has been updated and is restarting right there, the message disappeared. And as you can see eventually indeed it is uh, restarting right there. And you will see that we will have a little small bug, or at least uh, I think because the first time that I updated the little app logo and the bar would not go away even when I was already in the iOS interference. And uh, if that happens, I am going to be showing you how to fix that. However, as you can see right there, my iPod Touch did reboot, and as you can see, indeed, it is iOS 6.1.3. 
and so now it will have this bar again and so just let it let just let it complete right there as you can see iTunes already did recognize my iPod touch as you can see it says iOS 6.1.3 and as you can see all of my data is still here and as you can see currently it just says other however after this is done it will say um, it will give me all of my information right here back so let's just wait for this to load it does take uh, some time and as you are seeing as you can see right there my iPod touch uh, I guess rebooted however as you can see um, the screen dimmed and it still has that however as you can see iTunes is now showing the audio apps and other section so now uh, what we have to do is we need to we just reboot our iPod touch so just hold the home and power button until it turns off and as soon as it does that just let it go and you will see that it does reboot again with its normal brightness and so just let it uh, reboot there Uh, so guys one thing that I do want to say is that I really do not recommend this method much um, I do in fact just recommend just restoring and restoring from a backup because that way works much better as you can see right there uh, this is the glitch I was talking about as you can see just flickering I can use the device itself however as you can see it has that flickering however when I go into an application or something like that as you can see it is still there and the only thing you have to do is just let it load for a second and as you can see that will disappear as you can see I am on iOS 6.1.3 and all of my applications are still there and music and all of that as you can see right there it is iOS 6.1.3 but as I was saying guys I do really recommend I do not recommend this method because it's a bit glitchy and I don't know if your device will be uh, the same for me right now it's still working fine however I would recommend just restoring and then restoring for my backup however anyway guys please leave me your comments down below just please tell me what you think about this method if you tried it please tell me how to do how what do you think about it and stuff like that and I hope you have an amazing day guys I will catch you all in my next video bye bye